Hello, and uh, for this one you need to um, have practiced this a little bit and know there's a few letters you need to know like A, N, S and D um, because you have this formula for arithmetic series in your uh, exam sheet. I'll show you where that is in a second. So um, I'm just going to remind you that uh, because apparently when the examiners were going through this they found that the majority of students did not know that there was a formula for the arithmetic series at the front of the exam sheet. So there it is, right at the top, and you can see those letters that we need to learn. So S stands for sum, N stands for the number of terms that we're going to be adding up, A is the first term, and D is what we're adding on to the term. So let's say we're going up in threes, we'd say 2, 5, 8, 11. That, would be adding, that means that D would be equal to 3, because we're adding 3 each time. Right, so I'll write that down for you. So S means sum, N means the number of terms, um, A is the first term, the first number in an in in arithmetic sequence, and D is sort of common difference, difference, the common difference, what we're adding on each time. Okay. Right, so. Um, as I gave you an example, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, adding on 3 each time. Um, I, I can add all those numbers up using this formula. Okay. So, for example, if I had, let's say I'm going to add up the first four terms, 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 11. Okay. Then, um, A, that's the first term. The difference is obviously 3. And I'm going to be summing up the first four terms. That means I have four terms to add up, n equals four. And then I would use the formula and substitute in those values. So the sum s of the first four terms, which I'm going to write as s4, a is equal to minus six, the first term. Oh, sorry, I'm doing the question one here, not my example. So in this question, we've been told that the first term is minus 6, that there are 30 terms, and that if you add them all together, they add up to 2,865. So if I write down the formula, I can substitute in what I've been told. So what I'm writing down is that the sum of the first 30 terms, so n is equal to 30, yeah. So that's 2,865 is equal to the number of terms, which is 30, divided by 2 times by twice the first term, which is minus 12, plus 29 of the common difference, what I'm adding on each time. Now that looks like an equation I can solve to find D. So um, if I do 2865 times it by 2 first, I think, to go to that fraction. Okay. There are many ways of doing this, but I'm just doing it this way just so I can explain every step. So I'm going to times that by 2. so that I can get rid of that divide by 2 on this side. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 30, which I think is 191. Oh, just checking. Okay, yep, 191. Okay, and that's minus 12 plus 29. What's the common difference? Now if I add 12 to both sides, it's 203 is equal to 29d, and so if I divide both sides by 29, I should get d is equal to 7. Okay, so now I've found all my terms, I can find the ninth term of s. And then the first term is minus 6, and I'm going to keep adding on 8 more common differences until I get to the ninth term. So I'll just write an example, minus 6, I add, those, add on 7, I add on 7 again, I add on 7 again, I'm going to do that 8 times, aren't I? I'm going to be adding on 7. So the ninth term is the first term plus eight lots of the difference. And eight sevens are 56. And minus six and 56 is 50. And there we have it. Okay, do the other sentence of this examiner. So the ninth term is 50. And that's your four marks for that question. So let's have a little look at the um, examiner's report. And yeah. A lot of students didn't even know it existed. Um, okay. Get rid of that. And yes, we've got the right answer. D is equal to 7. 
answer is equal to 50.